Balang Apu o Salin is one of the national living treasures of the Philippines. A recipient of the Gawad sa Mandilikha ng Bayan, who is an expert in the art of Yakan weaving. She was born on March 4, 1943, in the barangay of Parangbasak in Lamitan City, Basilan, a province in Mindanao. At the age of 78, she passed away on the morning of February 18, 2022. Born to a family of weavers with her mother, Apo Baria, being known as one of the best during her time. At a young age, her mother diligently shared her knowledge to Ambalang about all the necessary skills for weaving. We can say that she learned from the best. And being a mother herself, she passed her legacy to her own three children. Weaving is a substantial part of Ambalang Ausalin's life. With almost seven decades of experience, defining and expressing the cultural relevance of her created textiles is a walk in the park. And as the years hone her skills, she mentors the new generation of weavers in Dayakan for the conservation of the beautiful tradition of weaving. Yakan weaving is a vital part of culture and tradition involving both women and men. Partaking in this craft engages the body and soul while the identity connects back to the past. To the Yakan, nature is the mother of art. The designs of the textiles they create commonly feature animal and plant motifs, which is a way for them to record and honor the naturalistic beauty of nature. Their products are colorful and ornate, which are designed in accordance to their use and purpose. Each design is specific for every product they create. The details within their textile are small and compressed, which are meant to represent the unity and harmony of the Yakan community. Being the daughter of the best weaver of the community, Ambalang Ausalin started the practice of weaving at the age of 10 through the help of her mother. She made use of mat-making materials like coconut and banana leaves since cotton threads were a scarce material. She was a fast learner. And at the age of 12, she was able to gain confidence and dexterity in weaving with the loom. The weaving process is done in a backstrap tension loom where the weaver uses their body to secure the thread in place, raising their feet on a tendakan. They wear an awit or ikus connected to the diagonal warp beam called tedug hung on their house beams. They start with the process of meghani or warping, where they wind the thread in the loom around 8 to 10 meters long so that they are arranged in vertical lines. Each of the thread is then pulled through a bamboo comb called sudendam and spaced evenly in the procedure called mua. The way that the comb is filled affects the look and the feel of the textile drastically. The more this sticks in the comb, the closer the teeth, which results in a more embossed design. They then choose the thread colors and envision the design by counting the required row per thread of the textile in the process called megpene. The background color of the textile called selag is wound on a separate stick called anaktulak and they start the process of mene, which creates the design. 
passing the thread in each row, the actual weaving, nenun, finally takes place. Yakan weaving is a long and tedious process. A piece can be finished in a few days or take months depending on the category, design, and the weaver. Highly experienced weavers like Apu Ambalang can do the weaving smoothly and efficiently because fewer threads are in the tulak or selag mentede. With this intricate and immortalized process of weaving, they can produce ornate designs named suwa bekat, cross stitch embellishment, and suwa pendan, an embroidered embellishment. Both are of Yakan clothing, especially in the Sinaluan textile for which the Yakan weavers are most famous for. The journey to becoming a Gamaba artist. As Ambalang Ausalin dedicated her years to the craft of weaving, she has become a master weaver that processes the exceptional ability to perform the most intricate designs in a skillful and creative manner. She was an artisan that greatly contributed to the creation of beautifully woven textiles and contributed to keeping the tradition of Yakan weaving alive through teaching and guiding the young Yakan people. These contributions were recognized as she was awarded Gawad sa Manilikha ng Bayan in the year of 2016, a recognition given to the Masters of Cultural Art in the Philippines which inspired her to continue teaching the members of her community until she passed. The Techniques and Pieces That Made Her Recognized Yakans pride themselves on three textile treasures that weave their everyday experiences with their adoration for Mother Nature. These are Mungasama, Sinaluan, and Seputangan. Mungasama, the food of the ancestors, has intricate patterns of rice grains, animals, and plant-adorned garments worn by high-status Yakans. Each stitch a testament to the skill and dedication of the weaver. Imagine! 70 passes of the thread on the loom to create just one design element. Sinaluan A single foot of fabric can hold up to a thousand warp yarns. This textile artistry, reserved for trousers and men's blouses, forms vertical stripes adorned with a multitude of patterns. From diamonds to incised triangles mimicking bamboo sections, each motif tells a story of how the community lives. And finally, Seputangan, the pinnacle of Yakan craftsmanship. Unlike its pre-patterned counterparts, this meter-square headcloth demands the utmost precision and skill from the weaver. Symbolizing sacred moments like weddings and agricultural rituals, its geometric designs, honeycombs, staircases, and diamonds speak of their cultural bond. Through the hands of master weavers like Apu Ambalang, these woven clothes are not merely fabrics, but living legacies, made with love and in harmony with her soul and spirit ancestors. Even though Apu Ambalang has departed, her years have created such an impact that will ensure that her tribe's culture is preserved and passed on.